Nights at 10.30 on Channel 5. This is WFRV TV 5, Green Bay, Fox Cities. Now, with all the news for Northeast Wisconsin, this is Eyewitness News at 6. I uh, wish that this is the last case, the first and the last case that we have to deal with. Good evening. A landmark housing discrimination case clears the air for one family, but ends up costing another 12000 bucks. Good evening, everyone. It's just part of tonight's top story dealing with alleged discrimination in our area. It's a Fox Cities case, and in that ruling today, an Appleton woman has been fined $12,000. She had been accused of trying to intimidate a Hmong man who wanted to rent a home next to hers. And John Deering reports it's the first time a Hmong refugee has won a discrimination case in the United States. Zhang Li is a happy man today. An administrative law judge ruled he was discriminated against by Gene Weber. It started on September 1st of 1990, when Zhang Li went to see if he could rent this house on West Atlantic Street. What happened next? According to court documents, Jean Weber came down from her porch and confronted Li in this driveway. Here, she told him that his people weren't allowed to live in this neighborhood. She also told him that blacks, Mexicans, and Vietnamese weren't allowed in this neighborhood. After that, she pointed her finger at him and said, if he lived in this house, he would have trouble. Lee then contacted the Fair Housing Council. At a press conference this morning, Fair Housing Representative Kathy Grote said, it's not surprising the federal government sued Weber and won. Uh, the federal government, as I said, is becoming much more aggressive in uh, fair housing laws uh, violations and wants to send a definite, clear message to the people that they will not tolerate such behavior in this in any community lee says he pushed the lawsuit to protect his people i have to speak out for the government to uh protect protecting, uh, protecting us for the discrimination jean weber would not talk to us but her daughter robin said her mother didn't say anything discriminatory my mother is a very quiet person person she keeps to herself mostly and she, she knew the neighbors, and she knew they were selling the house. She was, so she told them that it was not for rent, that it was for sale. And he started getting mad. But the administrative law judge said the Webers were less credible witnesses than Zhang Li. The Fair Housing Council said the large penalty, $12,000, reflects the seriousness of this incident. John Deering, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, Appleton. And speaking of housing discrimination, you would think that if you were ever evicted from your home because you weren't of a certain race, that there would be laws to protect you. But when it comes to renting on Indian land, it's not that simple. Bill Bissett has more on a story we broke last week concerning a Green Bay couple that's being evicted from their duplex, allegedly because they're not Indian. The controversy surrounds this house, where David and Noreen Ham have lived for the past six years. They were recently given an eviction notice telling them that the property is being bought by the Oneida tribe. But that's not what got them so upset. It was this phone conversation telling them why they had to leave. Why are we being evicted anyhow? I don't understand that. Because we have people that are waiting for homes. Because we're not Indian, we have to leave. That's right. But tribal officials say the hams have not been discriminated against because there are different rules on the reservation. The Oneida tribe has a sovereign to exercise its sovereignty and establish any rules it wants to establish. They say when it comes to reservation land, Oneida Indians have preference over others. But the tribe, in posting the applications, accepts all applications. And because there's a preference for Oneidas, Oneidas most likely will occupy the units. But the Hams say they were never given the chance to be reconsidered as tenants, and they're not happy with the way the whole thing has worked out. I'm very bitter about it. I don't feel that they should be exempt from, from that. I mean, I mean, if that's the case, are they exempt from, uh, what else are they exempt from? Through the state or through the city? To what, what can they do to other people? Or is there other duplexes being bought up and you have to leave? You're not of our race? Bill Bassett, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, Green Bay. 
And the story continues to unfold. Late today, the Hams hired an attorney and say they intend to fight, not the eviction, but what they call the discrimination behind it. In other news tonight, a 100-car pileup in the UP. Slick roads and whiteout conditions led to the massive chain reaction crash on Highway 41 between Nagani and Marquette just before 8 this morning. Several people were taken to area hospitals, but amazingly, their injuries were only minor. Now, last night we told you that more than a third of high school boys in our state have carried a weapon. Tonight we have a story that sadly substantiates that point. Two boys, ages 15 and 17, are in jail, accused of trying to hold up this Super America station overnight in Appleton. The boys entered the store just before 2 this morning. They waved their guns at the clerk, but then ran out of the store without any money. No one was hurt. Handguns, like those used in the armed robbery, are the most dangerous firearms of all. In fact, 70% of all people shot to death are shot by short-barreled handguns. But today, Wisconsin's Attorney General, James Doyle, proposed new legislation making it tougher to get your hands on a handgun. First, a seller, that means a citizen or a business person, must have a state license. And before you can buy a handgun, you must be fingerprinted. Prints that will be filed at the State Justice Department. The legislation targets some of the most dangerous guns we have. They are not used by sportsmen. They are not desired by collectors. They are weapons that kill and injure innocent people, and they need to be regulated more effectively. An initial attempt at gun control in Wisconsin begun two years ago, which requires a Wisconsin gun buyer to first be checked for any criminal record, has already stopped the sale of 300 guns. Just ahead tonight, a major employer in the Fox Cities is sold. But what will it mean to workers? We'll find out. And could these pieces of history be holding up the future of a Green Bay neighborhood? We'll find out next. You're watching Channel 5 Eyewitness News at 6. With Tom Milburn, Aaron Davison, Chief Meteorologist Tom Mahoney, and Larry McCarran with sports. What is tough? The Ford F-150 with standard rear anti-lock brakes, double wall cargo bed, and a comfortable car-like interior. No wonder the F-Series has been America's best-selling truck for 15 straight years. What is tough? A new Ford F-150 from the Quality Plus Ford dealers of Wisconsin and Upper Michigan. Right now, lease a loaded F-150 for just $262 a month for 24 months. That's right, $262 a month for 24 months for America's best-selling truck. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer today. If you're running a business in the 1990s, quality is vital and time of the essence. That's why when it comes to copiers and fax systems, Modern Business Machine sets the standard for comparison. With Modern Business Machine's service staff of 24 factory trained technicians, your copier will be kept in top condition. That limits untimely breakdowns. And with our computerized dispatching, you can expect a quick response and minimal downtime. Compare and see how we're setting the standard for comparison at Modern Business Machines. Closed captioning is sponsored by Cub Foods and Channel 5 Eyewitness News. I carry in my mind the picture of a child who is never born, a child I aborted, a picture that changes as the years go by. I imagine him growing tall with dark hair and eyes. Again and again, my mind returns to that ghost of a child who would have been 12 this spring. If you think abortion is an easy choice, that you can just forget about it, it's not true. You can't. America, land of the free. There's free parking, hey. free throws, free advice, free style, free ways, free falling. Now you can even get free checking. No, not that kind. Free checking from Norwest. Unlike other banks, there are no service charges, no time card charges, no minimum balance and no limit on checks. We'll even give you your first order of 200 standard checks free. Free checking from Norwest. It's unbelievable. Eyewitness News continues for Nina Manasha, The Lake Shore, and Green Bay. It's expected to be business as usual at one of Appleton's largest employers. That despite the company being sold. 
Miller Electric Manufacturing Company was bought by an Illinois firm yesterday. Officials from Illinois Tool Works say their corporation has a history of allowing its new companies to operate independently. That's expected to continue with the Miller acquisition. Miller Electric employs 1,800 people in the Fox Cities. Is a part of Green Bay's history going to be bulldozed over in the name of progress? Well, it's a sticky situation city planners face as they try to redevelop the Astor Park neighborhood. That, as Carmel and Daly reports, is a rich part of Green Bay history. It doesn't look like an archaeological hotspot, but it is. Artifacts dating back three, 4,000 years have been found here, but other history could be bulldozed over, as the city plans to redevelop this two-block historic area just west of St. James Park. Through federal monies, the city bought 18 properties, which it plans to sell again to developers. But one stipulation is if a property is sold, the historic land must go through an archaeological dig. This clearly is a significant historic property. And since Green Bay is the earliest European settlement in Wisconsin, burial sites may be uncovered. And under state law, then any development must stop. I think the city has come to the realization that human burials are a distinct possibility in this area and that they do have to be concerned about disturbing those. The city says it recognizes its responsibility to preserve Green Bay's roots, but it's had trouble selling the lots. When developers hear of the archaeological dilemma, they back out of their offer. At least some of the lots have been approved for development. This corner lot here may undergo construction this spring. Archaeologists say there's still some 19th century history here, but at least no burial ground. Both parties say they'll compromise through this situation, so the past is preserved, and the future is all about breaking new ground. Carmel and Daly, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, Green Bay. Where's the area? Well, the two-block redevelopment project area on the near east side is bordered by Jefferson, Adams, Cass, and Poor Lear. A contract dispute between the Green Bay School District and its teachers will have to be settled by a third party. The two sides have been unable to work out their differences and will have to turn to an arbitrator for a final decision. The dispute stems from the board's decision to get rid of middle school, which will change the way teachers teach. Teachers say that breaks their contract, but the district disagrees. The arbitrator should make a decision in a couple of months. Won't have to wait nearly that long to get the forecast in the weather center. May have to wait that long to get a spring forecast, but not the forecast for the next few days. No, we're looking at... Uh... I would say some cold weather coming in. Sub-zero readings, anyway, for tonight on this fat Tuesday. But as Ash Wednesday unfolds, things are going to be warming up a little bit. In fact, there's another chance of snow. I'll have it for you in the outlook coming up in a few minutes. Tom's forecast is up next on Eyewitness News. To celebrate Bonanza's 30th birthday, we're making all the crispy golden shrimp you can eat just $5.99. Only $5.99, and we'll serve them up until you say when. Eat all you can and just say uh, <clears throat> when. That's W-H-E-N. Hurry, this offer ends soon. When? Thank you. Wait, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Bonanza, where 30 years means a great deal. America's winning with you. Thanks, Wisconsin, for making our LeSabre an American winner. This is the automobile that outsold the entire Chrysler division. Outsold Acura. Outsold Lexus and Infiniti combined. Save an additional $1,000 now on LeSabre. Family Circle Magazine's Domestic Family Car of the Year. This year, you're going to win with Buick. See your nearest Valley Area Buick dealer today. When you see news happen, shoot it with your home video camera. Then call 1-800-236-5550. You could be an Eyewitness News private eye. Crime. You could be a victim, or you could fight back. Do you know how to outsmart car thieves? Do you know how to protect one of your biggest investments? Tomorrow night, Eyewitness News will show you how to keep your vehicle safe. We'll show you how car thieves break in and give you special techniques you can use to slow them down or discourage them from trying. Tomorrow on Eyewitness News at 10, the look of a leader. 
The best leaders are the ones who serve. Closed captioning is sponsored by Cub Foods and Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Here's another winner in the Channel 5 Wedding Showcase. Congratulations to Julie Stino of Green Bay. Julie wins a $50 gift certificate from Gabriel Furniture. March 5th, we'll announce the winner of our Carnival Cruise 4-2, airfare courtesy Northwest Airlines, so stay tuned. Now, today it turned out a lot better than expected. Tomorrow we'll have the same amount of sunshine, if not more, but just as cold temperatures. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. It will look nice, but it will be cold. Daytime high temperatures about 12 to 18 degrees. Our satellite imagery put into motion from last night through the day. The clouds cleared out a little bit faster than expected, but no, I'm not going to knock the sunshine that came in today. It sure did make it feel nice, at least on the inside, as soon as you went outside, no, it felt darn right chilly. And the reason for that is Arctic air has settled in over the area. Now, our weather map for tonight looks like this. The high pressure system is still on out to the west of us. If anything, we'll have northwest winds, but they will be dying down to next to nothing overnight. Speaking of overnight, our low temperatures will be below zero throughout most of the area. Right along the lakeshore, we might see some temperatures in the single digits, but under five degrees until you get on down towards the Chicago area, then it'd be on the order of about five to 10. Now for tomorrow, there's going to be high pressure giving us plenty of sunshine again today. As the winds come across Lake Michigan, it'll pick up a little bit of cloudiness and there might be some snow across the lake. But for the most part, it looks like a fairly nice day before more clouds begin to come in here. I would say sometime on Wednesday night and Thursday, there'll be a chance of snow. High temperatures tomorrow, mostly in the teens, although right along the lakeshore, we might see some temperatures going up into the 20s. Temperatures right now, we have single digits in the central part of the state. Your eyes probably drew you to the attention of Rochester, Minnesota. They're already below zero at four below. But in the eastern part of Wisconsin, where all of us are, temperatures are for the most part of the teens. Likewise, upper Michigan, where the rest of our audience is, likewise in the teens, some single digits right along the Lake Superior shoreline. Right now in the Fox Cities, it is 11. In Green Bay, it is 16. West winds on the order of about 6 miles per hour, 73% on the relative humidity. The barometric pressure is on the rise, 30.06. And our photo tonight is from Steve and Florence. I don't know if Steve took the picture and Florence uh, held the camera or the other way around. Steve and Florence Baranchik of Pulaski. This is snow in their yard, and this was back in December 1992. Here's a look at the forecast then. Clear skies for tonight. Clear and cold, I might add. Fair to partly cloudy as we go from the north of the Bay Area into the North Woods. And our overnight low temperatures, for the most part, dropping down below zero, right near zero along the lakeshore. Sunny tomorrow in the Fox Cities and also the lakeshore area. Mostly sunny for the Bay Area. And as we head uh, into the temperature department for tomorrow, let's call it daytime highs for the most part in the teens. And I'll be back with a look at the extended outlook after a look at today's high and low temps. All right, you guys ready to see a show? Yeah! You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! All right, you guys ready to give me a dollar? Start with a little bit of bowling ball juggling. Uh, Ma'am, could you check that out? Does that affect a real bowling ball? knows you love chicken. Olay! So we stuffed it into an enchilada, Olay! rolled it into a taquito, Olay! and grilled it Tex-Mex style. Chi-Chi's Chicken Trio Olay, just $7.99. And right now, the same low price includes our delicious Sopapillas dessert. What a sweet deal. Chi-Chi's Olay! A celebration of food. We're here to hunt down old energy guzzling freezers, refrigerators, and room air conditioners. And you folks out there can help by turning in your inefficient, over-the-hill appliances. Matter of fact, Wisconsin Public Service will give you a $50 savings bond reward for doing it. Reward? What's a room air conditioner? Call WPS. 
Our Weather Center 5 extended outlook. Uh, we'll take a look at the weekend. Uh, I know it's a little early, but Thursday there'll be a chance of snow, 18 to 25. That should end Friday morning. I should have probably put a flurry in Friday morning, but yeah, clearing off during the day. And then Saturday and Sunday look pretty doggone good. Saturday in the 20s, Sunday, upper 20s to the mid part of the 30s. Wow, what a mm. great weekend to get out and enjoy the wintertime sports. Looks like we've got enough snow for everybody to get well, out and big about. Big travel show coming up this weekend at the Expo Center, too. That's right. WFRV Travel Show. That's right. Stay away Saturday afternoon. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 10, it's every parent's nightmare. Their child abducted, and sometimes it happens right near their home. It has happened in our area. Tonight, some tips on how you can fight back. And it's an amazing story of survival. Lost in a mountain blizzard for days, but tonight, several skiers are found. You'll see their emotional reunions tonight. And you'll see an exciting conclusion in sport. Safe and sound, I hope, anyway. <laughs> Coming up, the Fighting Phoenix fight from second and a trio of Bayport Pirates go after state wrestling titles. Can you find the dissatisfied bank customer in this group? Take another look. Who's not getting the attention they deserve? North Shore Bank serves you in five minutes or pays you $5 cash. That's a promise with a payoff. North Shore Bank gives you excellent service or pays you $5 cash. We'll make you smile, too. Bank on us. You're looking at the state-of-the-art in cookware. Concentric Air by wherever. Naturally, it's non-stick inside. But with Concentric Air, it's what's outside that counts. We call this a coined base. These little grooves are designed to move hot air equally across the pan's bottom and eliminate hot spots. So food cooks quickly and evenly. We call this controlled cooking. Because whatever you cook comes out perfect. On both sides. Concentric Air by wherever. We'll make you a better cook. For a better way to get through the winter, get a Dodge Grand Caravan with front-wheel drive traction and available ABS brakes from the minivan store. And because winter won't last forever, you can even get one with air conditioning at no extra charge, plus 500 cash back. Dodge Grand Caravan, the best way to get over the river and through the woods to Grandma's or anywhere else. America's best-selling minivan, Dodge Caravan. Dial 1-900-370-FINS for forecast, local fishing reports, where they are, how to catch them for just 95 cents a minute. 1-900-370-FINS. Hi, I'm Parker Drew, and this is the official Wisconsin Lottery Daily Pick 3 Drawing. Just pick three numbers for the chance to win up to $500. The first number tonight is six. The second number is three. And the third number is one. Once again, six, three, one. Thanks for playing pick three. I'll be back later tonight with Super Cash. See you then. State wrestling invades UW Fieldhouse this week. Individual titles on the line in Madison. For more on the mats, let's go to Scott Harper live in our newsroom. Scott, who looks strong from our area? Larry Pulaski, New London, and of course Bayport are all represented well at the state meet. Now the Pirates have a few guys that have been there before, but they haven't won the big one yet. But they hope to change that this year. Got it. Inside. Bayport hopes to run circles around the competition at the state individual meet. The Pirates are sending three players to Madison this year. Chad Benbenek is undefeated and picked by many to win the state championship at 189 pounds. But Benbenek lost his first match at the Fieldhouse last year and he's not taking anything for granted. I just want to really go down there really bad and do my best down there this year. Just to take state this year. Last year I lost out right away. It's not, not because of nerves, I was so nervous, but I think I'll be over that this year. Before they go down to the state tournament, we've been practicing for the last two weeks situation wrestling, not six minute wrestling or nine minute wrestling, but situations that they're going to be placed in so they can always try to win. Sean Habel is making his third consecutive appearance at State, and he too has come up empty-handed in the past. My approach this year is basically win some matches, place in the top five. Um, <laughs> I want to make my mark this year. Um, this is my year, I figure, and 
I picked a place in the top five, and that's what I want to do. Junior Jesse Van Lannen is making his debut at state. I'm sure I will be two nights before the, or even the night before, I'll be really nervous. It's, it's entered my mind a couple times, but I always try to blow it off and just, my main, my main purpose down there will be to have fun. Just wrestle, not worry about records. The grappling gets underway at 4 o'clock on Thursday. Back to you, Larry. Thank you, Scott. The problem is not getting knocked down. That happens to every team. The problem is being ready to answer the bell for the next round, and the Fighting Phoenix were more than ready last night. They followed Saturday's loss at Marquette with a 57-42 win over Northern Illinois. Jeremy Ludvigson led the charge, scoring a career-high 20 points. My second shot, it just felt real good, and I really got some confidence going, and that sometimes was, is what it takes. What it also takes is Jeff Zavada bouncing back from a tough crowd one-point performance at Marquette to start and contribute 11 points and solid defense. Personally, it was good to be at home again, have the crowd behind my back, and, uh, you know, it's kind of exciting. Coach put us back, put me back in the lineup tonight. He said um, we need some scoring in the paint and some more rebounding and stuff, and you know, I tried to address that and tried to play the best D I could. And it, was, it was a real good win for us coming back after that defeat. We didn't play real well. Um, on national TV and stuff, and confer conference wins are more important than the non-conference wins at this time in the season. How true last night's win puts the Fighting Phoenix in sole possession of second place in the Mid-Continent. That is of prime importance for pairings and brackets come conference tournament time, which is just 12 days away. Time to delve into the depths and find out what the fish are up to. Tomorrow's fishing forecast shapes up like this. Best time of day, just about the whole afternoon, 1 to 6 to be exact. Next best, 7 to 10 in the morning. Of course, we miss morning noon. <laughs> Gotta be careful about don't that. Don't want to do that. No. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. In good news tonight, you don't have to travel to New Orleans to experience Mardi Gras this year. The St. Joseph Nursing Home in New London held its own Cajun festivities today. A high school marching band paraded through the halls of the home. There was also plenty of people in costume on hand to get people in a festive mood. Mm. Looks like a lot of fun. A lot of fun on this fat Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know if they have a thin Wednesday. But <laughs> Ash Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. That's Eyewitness News tonight at 6. Thanks for making us your choice for news. We'll see you tonight at 10. Aaron Davison's clothes by Gantos. Eyewitness News is sponsored by Modern Business Machines and by your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Join Peter Pan, Wendy, Tinkerbell, Captain.